Was Prince scared of double lift? Uh, no, not really, honestly. I mean, in review, we're just like, yeah, he's a Zeri one trick. Just remove Zeri, and then Prince is like, just, you know. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the LCS Lounge. We are joined by Spika for another VOD review segment. Congratulations oh, on the win, Spika. Thank you, thank you. How was that game from your perspective? You know, honestly, when we first logged in Sejuani, I was a little shaking. Because um, I remember last time I played Sejuani, I had like 30% win rate. So, and we lost. Um, but, I mean, I think we just win our draft. Like, all right. Speaking of draft, I actually do want to pull it up as fast as we uh -huh. can then. Because it was a very weird draft yes. where there was a big pinch that came in on your side with a lot of bands focused on the bot lane. Mm -hmm. Was Prince scared of double lift? Uh, no, not really, honestly. I mean, in review, we're just like, yeah, he's a Zeri one trick. Just remove Zeri. And then Prince is like, just, you know, I could go four, five, like one, two, three. I can pick anything against double lift. And... Yeah, so you can yeah. see it down there. You, they went okay. for the Zyra Khan in the 2-3 mm -hmm. spot, and then yeah. they, they sent some more bands down there. How were you guys feeling in the draft as this kind of pinch was, was going on? Um, I mean, I think we kind of knew how the draft was going to go in our draft meeting. We had some scenarios where our balling go 4-5 if they get pinched. But, I mean, I think from how the draft went, I think it was okay. It was okay. I wouldn't say we are winning draft because their comp is pretty good. But I'm not, I'm not going to say coach gap as well, you know? I always like to blame the coach. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, they gave us a crap draft. We just had to outplay him. Yeah. So that's all about you mm -hmm. guys smurfing on them. Which yeah, of course. You had a great game, actually. I was very impressed the mm -hmm. entire time through. We'll start off at just level one. This is kind of like the standard invade that people have yes. kind of started doing. Yes. Did you call for this knowing that it was going to come in? Or yeah, so um, I don't know if you see our initial level one before the minions even spawn. So yeah. we five men. We five we men went for the Nautilus right? Rush mid. Um, because their level one is honestly really, really strong. Um, Malachi is stronger than Sejuani, if you were stronger than Kaysante. Uh, we were initially going to do the knowledge cheese. I don't know if you guys remember. Yeah, the the five man. Yeah. You know, um, Bjergsen five actually up. just hesitated yeah. in base. Is why I, I mean, he's really well. smart because he's really old, but um, <laughs> that gave us this control, which is like, I'm really comfortable, right? Yeah. Now I can see if they try to low invade my Raptors, if Fiora's coming in. Um, so, you know, after seeing Fudge, what Fudge did to contracts, uh, we were like aware of it. Yeah, right. So mm -hmm. he comes in, you guys kind of just shove him out. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering, what did you see that made you confident about the top side red to uh, blue kind of invade that you went for here? Yeah, I mean, so f at first I was going to go for mid game because we saw their war. So yep. I queue over the wall to avoid their war. Yep. Um, but then after a bit, he was playing really safe. And then after the sapling ram, like, okay, they know where I am. Um, yep. But luckily, because of my hover mid, we get mid push. Um, as a salad against Talia, right? Mm -hmm. So that allows me to I have top push, I have mid push, so I just walked in and just take his caps. And I think this is how usually the Sejuani Maokai matchup should be played. Like Sejuani has a lot of early game edge, he can buy a lot of 2v2s and Maokai just slowly scales. Right, so once once you had the shove in top and mid, mm -hmm. you were like, okay, this is free. Yeah. You take this camp, and then uh, I, I really like your cycle on his Raptors mm -hmm. as well after yeah. Scuttle Crab. Was it because he just showed on the top uh, initially? Yeah, I mean, it's because we had the level on ward, so we know he started Raptors, so I have right. the exact timing up. So I'm like, okay, guys, you know, the Raptor's gonna spawn at four minutes. Um, so I also call Nautilus, I call mid push, and then, um, you know, we know exactly where he is. So a couple things were going on while you were doing all this jungle stuff. Yeah, One, let's not talk about the top gap. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, we're going to talk about the top gap. First, okay. we have to talk about the bot 2v2 kill. Mm -hmm. Did you see what, what happened? I actually didn't see this. All right, I we'll did show not you the this. first blood. You can react to it. Let's see it. All right, we'll get okay. a little closer. Oh my god, was it a little bit later than I thought? Yeah, it was after the first push. All right, so coming in, mm -hmm. it's let's just a, a hook right there. Wow, this Tabusia. is a kill angle? Yep. And then... Wow, this is not the most accurate uh, spectator usage. It's just a, a clean hook onto Busio. Yeah. I mean, can we just look at the top one you want? Because oh, I think that, that one's more interesting yeah, than right. the bot. You want to see what Impact know. did? Yeah, I'm just really curious because okay. Impact is a really good player. I respect him. I've never seen him get solo kills, so I'm just curious how. He told me he got cheesed. Yeah. Where's the you, cheese? You can watch <laughs> he told me he got cheesed. So I'm, just, cheese. I'm just thinking where, how he got cheesed. It's probably a little earlier. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why uh, Tanashi is just a dirty cheeser by just. I, I don't spells. think there was any cheese. He just used his W on him in, in the wave. No, I, I think he definitely cheese. <laughs> cheese? Nowhere. Yeah. Nope. It's uh, okay. We can move on. So there's the repeat gank that comes uh -huh. in. He's died twice. Are you like talking with Impact? Like, sorry, I can't go top anymore. This is a cursed lane. Like. Yeah, I mean, after Impact got killed twice, I think Prince was really confident. He's like, okay, you know, it's a bot game. I'm, uh -huh. I could carry, and I think we we play around like the deficit pretty pretty well. Um, Impact didn't like lose anything more other than that. And I think um, the Fiora didn't get much done, honestly, even though he was 2-0. Yeah, so I want to go to some of your other ganks that came mm -hmm. in. So you had a, a really good gank on mid that mm -hmm. you kind of go in without them getting vision on you. Yes. Was anyone calming that there was no vision here, uh, that they had no idea you had snuck in? Or uh, was it just like an instinct play? I think it was just an instinct play. I wasn't super like conscious of the vision. It's just like, hey, 
you know, Sejuani level 6 super strong, right? Uh, we could burn Talia Flash because they're pressing Herald right now, so I just want to get mid, mid prowl mm -hmm. and then try to stop their Herald and delay the game, you know, because I think if Fiora gets Herald, it's like, it's going to be super, super hard uh, for Kaysan to play since, you know, Fiora will always have a uh, side, side prowl and um, it's going to be hard for us to play them out. Uh, cool. So there's another uh, vision play that you do, right? Which is uh, one of the big, big plays that your mm -hmm. team's going to win. I think it's at around 17:10. Yes. You have this big TP flank comes in through mm -hmm. bot lane. Again, was there anyone calling vision, or was this just all instinct to know that like if I'm going to make this play on mid, yeah. I want to go through bot? I mean, I think it's just understanding how our composition works. Mm -hmm. If you like our comp, right? We have to flank. They have Talia to stop front to back. They have Maokai to check. They have a Rakan Zyre. Zaya Rakan, right? So it's really hard if we just, you know, go first. Um, so here I'm like, okay, we got to flank. We got to look for our different angles. And I think it worked out really, really well. If you look at the fight, it's like they're getting flanked from a uh, mid side. They're flanking from behind and, you know, Zaya or Kai'Sa and Nautilus in the, in, is in the front as well. And I think after this fight, honestly, like it just felt a lot easy or very, really easy to play the game because now they have no summoners. Uh, we could look for silent plays. Um, and I, I think this play just helped us win the game. Yeah, this has definitely felt like the bit of the backbreaker. Then there's mm -hmm. the dragon play, the baron play that all kind yeah. of snowballed off this. One play that did happen, I have to ask about, was uh, Prince Ooh. chasing the pentakill into Tenacity getting the solo or like the yeah, cleanup into I the was kind of sweating there, but you know, I respect that. I think it's because, you know, Berserker yeah. got a pentakill yesterday. Oh, he's trying to so match So I was kind of making fun of him. I was like, wow, Berserker's there. He's so good. He got a pentakill. You only got a quadra. Yeah. So that might have been my fault. So, you know, I'll take the blame on this one. So no one was calling him off. You're all like, get it. Oh, I was like, here, I was like, oh, Penta, Penta. I was like, oh, wait, you're dead. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it, I was a little shaky after this, but I think we, we, you know, we stay calm and finished it. Yeah, so we were asking a little bit about 18-0. Uh, is it, is mm -hmm. it coming? Is the 18-0 happening? I'm not sure. I mean, I don't want to get complacent because, you know, if you win a lot, you're like, oh, I'm just going to show up and play. If I lose, I still have, you know, 10, 10 more wins, right, under my belt or however many wins. Um, but for me, I really want to go for the 18-0. Has it... Who's done it before? In NA, no one's done it. No one's done it before. 17 won the record. Oh, the TSM yeah. versus P1, right? And, and, and the Immortals as well. Yeah, so I, I want to go for the 18-0. All right. So I'm, I'm going to be, be serious. I'm serious. All right, 18-0 coming yeah. your way. Promised by Spica. That's yeah. going to do it for us here on the VOD Review segment. Next, we have a SOC coming your way to get to know Chime uh, and Champ Select on the other side for this game two.